everybody! Well, I am 34 weeks, so I thought it was time for an update since I could be six weeks or less away from having little Ashland. Peter and I are kind of in shock. <laughs> Every day we're thinking a lot about it and just anticipating the birth and um, we're so excited. I'm really enjoying this part of pregnancy. Um, just being so big and really feeling him move all the time. It just feels so real and I'm trying to cherish every moment. Anyway, I just wanted to talk a little bit more about how I'm feeling, how things have been going the last several weeks and things are good. I'm in Ashlyn's room right now. Just starting to get used to it. His room is almost done so I can't wait to show you all when it is. We still need to get our mattress and the bedding and then I'll give you a tour of the room. It feels very weird to have this room all set up and waiting for this person that we don't know yet. But I'm feeling really good. Every day is different. Uh, the only thing that's a bummer is sleep. I can't get comfortable really at night. It's just, it's like having a huge bag of weights strapped to your tummy. I just basically flip flop all night either side and then wake up to pee probably four or five times at least. <laughs> but uh, you know, he's just getting big in there. So he's about the size of a cantaloupe according to my pregnancy app, but that would be if he was all curled up in a ball. Um, so he's over four and a half pounds probably. There's no real way to know how much he weighs. So he's been moving a lot, which has been very fun. And it's not as much the little punchy movements that he was doing before, it's more like big flips. <laughs> it's like waves going through my tummy. He, sometimes my tummy is completely lopsided and he's I think sometimes a shoulder or something because basically he's flipped back and forth. Last time I told you where he was positioned and he's basically stayed there so his head is down and then his back will either be on this side or this side. Yesterday we had our 34 week appointment and his back was along here. So he just flipped sides and I think he does that a lot because I can tell when huge movements happen. And then sometimes I've been feeling more and more like these long movements here and they they really stick out and I think that's when his back's here, I think he sticks his legs all the way out here. Ooh, right now he's moving. I wish you all could see it, but it's kind of hard to see, especially on camera, you have to get really close. Peter and I have been spending some time together working on the relaxation for our birthing classes and just talking about when he comes and just the whole preparation. and. I have to say I'm so blessed to have the partner that I have because he he just marvels at it every day. He is so sweet with Ashland and sings to my belly a lot and talks to his son and it's just an amazing feeling and we we can't get over it. And it's never something that gets old. It just you just it, it it's not possible. It's such a miracle. It's just the miracle of life is incredible and I feel so honored that I'm able to carry our son. Since we've traveled a little bit, I met Peter down in LA for some video shoots that he had, and then we had our little baby moon trip to Palm Springs. I had to fly, and so Peter, the protective husband that he is, ordered me some compression tights. <laughs> so there are like these tan socks that go up to your knee, and they're really attractive. I kind of felt like an ice skater. Well, it looked like that, but I also felt like a grandpa. I could barely get them on because <laughs> they were so tight. And trying to lean down and pull them on was kind of a struggle. So I felt really attractive at the airport with my compression socks on. Your feet tend to swell, as do other things, when you are prego. And so I have been a little swollen. <laughs> And so when you're on a plane, it's good to really move your feet, walk up and down the aisles, drink lots of water, and mostly it's just to prevent any kind of blood clotting that could happen because there's that extra weight bearing down. And if you're already swelling a little bit, it's just good to be safe. So, Also, I thought it was just the hot weather in Palm Springs, but my wedding ring stopped fitting when I was there. And so I thought, oh, it's just because it's warm and you know my fingers are a little more swollen than normal. And then we got home and I realized it was not the case <laughs> and I just can't wear my wedding ring for the rest of the pregnancy. So I went to Target and bought myself a beautifully cheap diamond ring. It actually looks really similar to my real wedding set, but the diamond is a lot bigger. <laughs> so it's pretty funny. I came home and said to Peter, oh thank you for the upgrade honey. 
At this time in the pregnancy, I'm just trying to take each moment, each day at a time, and we started taking our birthing classes, which have been really awesome. Just helping us get ready for when he comes, and at this point, I really feel like I want him to stay in there as long as he needs to be in there. <laughs> they won't let me go to 42 weeks, um, but full term is 37 weeks, which is so soon, and then um, you know your full length of your pregnancy, all nine months, are 40 weeks. So that's his due date, is about at 40 weeks. But um, I'm okay with him staying in a little bit longer because I think that's healthy for him. Once I think 41 weeks rolls around, or maybe even 40, I actually have a an appointment every day. <laughs> so they'll keep a close eye on him and make sure he's healthy and that I'm healthy and that I'm feeling fine. And um, there's a lot to come, but just taking a day at a time and really enjoying it. So I have some baby showers coming up, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, we've been so blessed already by several of you who have sent us gifts, and we're so thankful for that. We feel overwhelmed by everyone's support. And um, it's been really interesting to go on this journey with you and share everything with you all, too. I feel like I'll look back on these videos as a really nice journal uh, and a memory that we can share but it's also been really fun to share it with you all and to hear your comments and some of you who are pregnant who are kind of on the same journey and those of you who have children and it's just been really awesome to hear from everyone. Well, as I look ahead, all I can think about is how excited I am for the day that he comes. I'm not in a hurry and I do want him to be in there as long as he needs to be, but I just can't wait to meet him and hold him in my arms. I haven't been very good at visualizations, which is something that we've been practicing with um, our birthing classes, relaxation techniques, and visualizations of the birth and being with our son. And It's hard for me to visualize it, but the one thing that I keep seeing is holding him in my arms. I don't know what he looks like, so it's just this kind of this image that I have of a baby boy in my arms, but I don't... I don't know beyond that, I have no expectations and um, I've even tried to visualize the birth and how I hope it goes, but it's been hard for me to visualize that because it's just such an unknown. I know it will be what it will be and it will be his journey and our journey together and I just can't wait for it. Alright, so here's the view I know you've all been waiting for. Ba-boom! There he is in all his glory. <laughs> and I don't know if you can tell, but... My belly button's popped out and it's right there. You might be able to see the little pink sticking out. We can't wait to share with you more as we count down to the day we meet our son. I can't wait to show him off and share that experience with you all. So if you want to hear more Holland's Family updates, remember to subscribe. And there will be some more music coming in the near future, which is very exciting. It's getting a little harder to sing these days, but I'm still doing it. and trying to make music for you all as well. So thanks for following us on this crazy journey and I appreciate you all for your kind words and your support and all the love you've shown Ashland already. Can't wait for you to meet him. All right, see you all next week. Bye.